What's up, everybody? It's a friendly neighborhood, Hog Knuckles, back again with another reaction video. As always, by my side, Hot Saint. Hot Saint, and today we're coming at you with another death battle. It has been a long time, especially for this one specifically. A lot of people who have been watching our Ruby reactions and have joined the channel uh, in that period of time and said, Hey, Yang versus Tifa death battle! That's what they said. Mm -hmm. And uh, then they were like, hey, you should do a reaction to it. And I said, all right, we will. And here right. it is. Let's check it out. Here it is. <laughs> I'm excited. I love Yang. Punching. The most useful language in the world when words fail. Oh. And these two lovely ladies are Yang. fluent in it. Of course they're Yang both my Yang going. The yeah. adventurous huntress from Ruby. We're not Final and Fantasy Tifa people. Lockhart, the Final Fantasy heavy hitter with enormous power. He's uh, nice and I'm they both have enormous and it's our job to analyze their weapons, power. armor, and skills to find out who would win a death battle. The world of Remnant is, well, crazy. Vicious creatures called Grim run wild, entire cities have gone to waste, and every single weapon is also a gun. My girl Nora would Even nunchucks. Oh, that sounds Get like Disneyland shot, to me. The happiest, most gun-filled place on Earth. <laughs> Luckily, the world is protected by the Huntsmen and Huntresses, an elite group of expertly trained warriors. And where else would you get the training to kill bloodthirsty monsters than from high school? Oh, I can't believe my baby sister is going to beacon with me. This is the best day ever! Please stop. <laughs> After losing her mother to mysterious circumstances and being trained all her life by her hero legend of an uncle, Yang Zhao Long was accepted into Beacon Academy. It's kind of like Hogwarts, except replace wands and books with swords, sniper it's rifles, and giant books. transforming scythes. Man, this place just keeps getting better and better. Seriously, I know where I'm going to retire now. A natural fighter and thrill seeker at heart, Yang fit right in and soon found herself a member of the color coordinated team, Ruby. Led by her younger sister, Ruby. Because that's not confusing at all. <laughs> I'm talking about kicking off the semester. I thought that a lot when I, I first started kick watching my the show. Yeah. Off with the Yang. Eh? Guys? Alright? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I forgot about the Jack Fight. was well spent, and she became the master of punching all the things. See, while Yang's fellow teammates wield a scythe, a couple swords, some big guns, Yang's style of combat takes a more direct approach. Yes, yeah, she does, with her shotgun gauntlets. Uh -huh. Her two golden bracelets aren't just stylish, they extend to form a weapon called the Ember Celica. With just a punch, the Ember Celica fires up a flash of kinetic energy, blasting a foe with an explosion of force and a beautiful sound. Uh -huh. To top it off, these concussive blasts can fly several hundred feet. Yang is one of the few people I know who can punch a bird out of the sky. That's what you get for crepping on my car. In addition, <laughs> like most huntresses, Yang can manifest her soul as an aura. Aura can be used to block deadly attacks and heal minor wounds, and Yang's is no different. But my favorite way she uses her aura is oh, when she goes snap. Super Saiyan. Yeah. Many hunters and huntresses so possess a awesome. semblance, a special power unique to them that makes Beacon Academy look a little more like the Xavier School for Gifted Youngsters. Yep. Yeah. Yang's semblance absorbs damage from hits she takes, adding them to her own physical power. After taking just two attacks from a mech suit, she was strong enough to shatter the whole thing in one go. Wow. Unfortunately, her semblance does not increase her aura's too. defense, so she feels the full force of everything that hits her aura, and oh. can only absorb power so long as she remains conscious. Luckily, she's pretty tough. Yang survived a punch that easily smashed her through a concrete pillar. You know, the ones designed to hold up entire bridges. <laughs> and during a food fight, wow. remember this is high school, Yang was knocked up into the air and did not come back down for about 100 seconds. More than enough time to reach terminal velocity. This means upon landing, she took an impact of nearly 50 tons of force. Damn. And stood right wow. back up like it was nothing. Oh, what a waste of good food. Despite uh, uh, this, Yang can only take so much. Her aura has a limit, as does her short temper. Pushing both of these too far leaves her extremely vulnerable. Like when this ice Aww. cream lady knocked her out because uh, Yang has been fighting monsters all day with no sleep. It's also worth noting Yang is less adaptable when fighting against foes specializing in kicks. 
Still, she's confident she's one of the best in her class and dedicated to graduating Hunter's School so she can travel the world fighting everyone just for the thrill of it. <laughs> That's awesome. Far to the west on the planet Gaia lies a small mountain village called Nibelheim. At first glance, this town appears calm and peaceful. Not worth a second look. See, this be Until a sword-wielding god guy found yeah, his yeah, alien yeah. mother hidden inside. He's celebrated with fireworks. After losing her parents and watching the madman Sephiroth burn her hometown to ashes, Tifa Lockhart joined Avalanche, a group dedicated to protecting the planet from ecological harm and meteors. Speaking of meteors, check out the size of the... <laughs> I was talking about the meteor. Sure you were. Anyway, Tifa was thrust into the stereotypical gender role of housekeeper by maintaining the hidden avalanche home base, Seventh Heaven. But it wasn't all bad because it also doubled as a bar. Damn, and she, she some doubled as a bouncer. Game too. Now, I've been thrown out of my fair share of bars for totally illegitimate reasons, but not even I would urinate on the Seventh Heaven jukebox with Tifa on guard. Mm -hmm. Smart choice, since she is a master of close quarters combat. Tifa is a faint brawler, adept at surprising foes with quick, powerful strikes. And as she traveled with her friend Cloud to save the planet, she learned seven legendary techniques, the Limit Breaks. Accessing her inner gambler, Tifa's Limit Breaks include rapid fire punches, explosive throwdowns, and summoning dolphins who uppercut people! <laughs> Well, that's just awesome! That's awesome, yeah. And if she manages to throw all of them in order, she charges the last of her limit energy into one final titanic punch. The final heaven! Uh, Fuck you, squirrel! Tifa is ready to throw down at a moment's notice, and even wears leather gloves everywhere she goes just in case a fight comes her way. And if she decides to get really serious, Miss Lockhart busts out her two round, beautiful ultimate weapons. Don't you dare! The Premium Heart! Oh. Well, the Premium Heart increases Tifa's striking power immensely and continues to do so, so over they do time have as she builds limit yeah. energy. However, they lose this increase after Tifa uses her limit breaks and need time to charge back up. Oh, that sounds like it could be a problem. Oh, if she didn't also have magic! <laughs> In Final Fantasy VII, there's a wide variety of magical ability granting gems called Materia. Any person can wield any materia, and it's up to the game's actual player to decide who gets what, giving Tifa no standard materia setup. However, thanks to the Dissidia Fighting series, we know Tifa prefers to carry fire and ice materia into battle. These fire and ice materia let Tifa conjure and wield fire and ice. <laughs> Combine that with her freakish superhuman strength, and she's like an unstoppable powerhouse. Well, her immense power does come at a price. Her skills and speed and defense are somewhat lacking, making her something of a glass cannon. But to help make up for this, Tifa wears two armor pieces. She wears a ribbon on her arm in memory of her late friend Aerith. Come on, man. Don't bring that up. Which protects her from negative effects like poison and paralysis. She also likely wears the Minerva Band to defend from fire and ice. Glass cannon or not, her strength is ridiculous. She's strong enough to fight an embodiment of Sephiroth and throw giant monsters around like nothing. And there was the time she helped throw Cloud through the air to reach the flying monster Bahamut Sin. After leaving Tifa's hand, you can see a mock cone form around Cloud, which means Tifa must have helped throw him with enough force to break the sound barrier. Ah, oh, Cloud's a lightweight. Come on, how hard can that be? Wow. Wow. Factoring in the weight of Cloud and his giant weapon, <laughs> He must have been thrown with up to 153 tons of force. Well, but shit, talk about power! You don't want to mess with Tifa's strong she can withstand 150 tons. Firm. Yeah. No, That's my fist. I believe. Also, she's got a really nice rag. Did I mention that yet? <laughs> <laughs> I still think Yang's got it. Yeah, I think Yang's I, I think Yang's got it. I believe in Yang. <laughs> Alright, the combatants are set. Let's end this debate once and for all. It's time for a dead battle! Oh, snap. It's like the nightclub opening from uh, the trailer. Yeah.
Hold up. Let me see some ID. Uh. <coughs> Hello. No need to panic, people. Just looking for someone. I will take a strawberry sunrise, though. No ice. Thanks. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, I think you better turn yourself around and look elsewhere. So... Does this mean no sunrise? <laughs> Wow. See, like, this is mostly just gonna be a brawl fest that I feel like. Yeah. Having fun? I sure am. Don't mock me! Tifa has a lot more items at her disposal. That was legit. Did she really just freaking reload? That was legit. Yeah, but I feel like she's absorbing a lot of power. Yeah. I feel like she's gonna go Super Saiyan. Get it, girl. Because remember, once oh, what's right? her name uses all her power, Let's they're on cooldown. Uh, I, I forget what the name of her items are though, the heart. Uh -oh, here we go. <laughs> she cut the hair though. Oh! Oh, oh my god! James about to break her right here. Yup. was naturally stronger and more experienced Damn. than Yang. But Yang's semblance quickly turned all Tifa's power against her. Even Damn. the Minerva Band, the she best of Tifa's armor options to she counter really Yang's like strength and shotgun blast, something. was eventually overtaken by the semblance. Plus, while Tifa could lift creatures many times heavier than Cloud using her limit breaks, she never shows this kind of strength anywhere else, implying that this power is exclusive to those limit breaks rather than something she possesses naturally. And even though Tifa's premium heart increased in power over time, they reset after her limit breaks while premium Yang's heart. power That's kept awesome. on rising. However, Yang's oh. real trump card was her aura. Her semblance would have been useless if she could not survive Tifa's attacks. Luckily, her aura is durable enough to take a punch that shattered a concrete pillar about four feet wide, a feat which requires at least 1,400 tons of force. Damn. That's the equivalent of having wow. 360 jetliners fall on your face. Yang's power just pulled through in a snap. The winner is <laughs> Yang Xiaolong. Damn! Ah! Yang just straight up. Get it, Next Yang. time on Death Battle. Hello, Chad and Ben and all you Death Battle fans. Oh, Wiz and Boomstick had a great scheme going on for a while there, having you follow them on Twitter to find out which of your favorite characters they were going to massacre in the next fight. Well, now it's my turn. You see this? It's the hard drive that contains all the death battle matchups and outcomes for the next year. And it's mine now. If you ever want to see your precious death battle again, well, you know what to do. 
to prove that I had the content. Is this a I way will for them to the like next cross release the or whatever? The... All right, so they're not going to show what was next then on this one, lame. Because last right. time they were like, make sure you watch because it shows it, but it looks like in this one they had like something going on so they could cross promote. Yeah. All right. Was hoping Yang would win from the first moment. She killed it. Didn't really know Tifa, but going mm-hmm. into uh, the little Tifa segment, you know, we we had no idea who she was. We really were just all about Yang. But honestly, I thought it was gonna be pretty close, and I was thinking yeah. for a little bit Yang might lose. Yeah, because it looked like she was, but then you know she she was, but she was just absorbing all the power. Yeah. And then see, I knew because they mentioned about the uh, the limit break that. Once she expended all that power, she was essentially done. And I figured as long as Yang can make it through that, she'd be fine. Yeah. So as soon as she survived, even the dolphin blow, <laughs> then I knew she was going to be okay. Um, did not know she was going to savagely, like, snap, spin her head. I know, like, it was kind of like a little violent. Yeah. Like, it's a little aggressive. A little, a little over aggressive. Yeah. Um, but it was really cool. I really dug uh, this death battle. I can't wait to watch more of these. We've, yeah. uh, we've only watched, um, I think, one other one. One other one. But I had a lot of fun with this one. I do want to watch more in the future, so let us know in the comments down below what are the death battles you want to see us do reactions to, as well as what you thought of this video. If you liked it, click that like button it turns blue when you touch it not everything does and if you want to see our future videos give that subscribe button a hug and welcome to the fam thanks for hanging out with us and watching yang straight murder slaughter kill tifa in a a very odd way um yeah pretty rough um also it was very erotic just in general the battle because of their assets in the meteor region. Um, but we'll have more videos soon. Bye. Bye.